Turning next to the Republican race for president, Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels officially bowed out early today, one day after pizza tycoon Herman Cain declared he was in, and one day before the expected entry of former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. The GOP field is already crowded with declared or potential candidates. And joining us now from Washington is our political analyst, John Dickerson. John, good evening. Good evening, Russ. A lot of Republicans wanted Mitch Daniels to enter the race, called him a fresh face. Now that he said no, what does this do to the Republican field overall? Well, one of the persistent storylines in talking to Republican strategists has been that in these early primary and caucus states, Republicans are just not enthusiastic about the crop of candidates so far. In a recent Associated Press poll, 45 percent of Republicans said they didn't like the men who were running. Well, Mitch Daniels was hope a lot of Republicans thought he could improve that. He was the last hope out there of candidates who might get in the race. Now that he hasn't, it means that whoever the nominee is in the party is going to have to make a case for how they're going to get Republicans excited, because for right now, they're just not excited. Let's turn to Newt Gingrich. Last week, he criticized his fellow Republican Paul Ryan's Medicare plan, calling it right-wing social engineering, and said it imposed radical change. He was asked about that this morning on Face the Nation with Bob Schieffer. Let's take a look. You said it's too it's, big a jump. It's too radical. You're I, saying it's, now it's, I think, it's not too radical. I think, it's not well, too big I think a jump. It's a, I think it is a big plan that needs to be worked through with the American people. In that process, it will clearly be modified. And I think if Republicans approach it that way and have a conversation with the American people, we will, in fact, totally defeat the Democrat scare tactics. And the American people will give us permission to have a very significant reform of Medicare. John, what's your take on the accusations that Newt Gingrich on this issue is a flip-flopper? Well, his, his big problem here is with his own party. For the last week, conservatives have been coming after him, saying he's undermined Republicans in their big philosophical debate with the president and that he's given sound bites to the enemy on this question of Medicare reform. So Gingrich is trying to repair there, saying that really his point was about tactics, that this is such a big deal that there needs to be a communications effort with the American people to convince them. But what his critics would say is, well, if there needs to be such a communications effort, then Republicans all need to speak with one voice. And anybody who wants to lead the party, be its chief communicator, needs to show a little more discipline than Gingrich has shown in this case. John Dickerson, as always, thanks a lot. Thanks, Russ.